Hello and welcome to this tutorial for using the desktop version of Monks VR. Monks VR was built for virtual reality, but now also works as a desktop application on PC and Mac. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started, download memory palaces from our store, build your own memory palaces, and navigate the spaces and menus. Monks VR is available on Steam's website. If you don't have a Steam account, you can create one for free and then download the software, which is also free. In addition to a Steam account, you will need to create an account within Monks VR itself. While you can use the software just as a guest, you won't be able to download any memory palaces from the store without your own account. Once you've downloaded the software and created an account, you can log in and you will see this home screen. From here, you can access free build mode and guided mode. Instructor mode is for creating guided modules to publish in our store. This is only available with pro accounts, and we haven't released pro accounts yet at the time of filming this tutorial. Let's start by looking at how to download pre-built memory palaces in guided mode. Click on guided mode and then click on the store in the upper right. Here you will find a number of pre-built memory palaces for different subjects. Some are free, some are not. You can view a preview video for each memory palace prior to downloading it, as well as a description. This memory palace for US presidents is free, so I can just click import. Now in guided mode, I see the memory palace for US presidents under my palaces. To enter, I just click on the palace and go in. Since 3D models are loaded remotely, it can take a few seconds for all of them to show up. Now that we're inside the space, let's start by looking at how to move around, then how to add mnemonics. Finally, we'll look at how to build and customize your own memory palaces. Let's cover movement first for PC, then for Mac. On a PC, start by pressing the Control key. Hold Control and press W to move forward, S to move back, A to move left, and D to move right. You can also move side to side by holding down Control and using the left and right arrow keys. To move up and down vertically, again hold down the Control key and press the up and down arrows. You can increase the speed of movement by holding down the Shift key at the same time as you press the keys for movement. To rotate your orientation in the space, hold down the Alt key, then use the same keys as before, either ASDW or the arrow keys. You cannot increase the speed of rotation with the Shift key. You can also use the mouse to rotate the space. Hold down the Control key, right-click with the mouse, and then move the mouse to rotate your orientation. Movement in the Mac version is very similar. Begin by holding down the Control key, then press W to move forward, S to move back, A to move left, and D to move right. To move up and down within the space, hold down both the Control and Option keys, then use the up and down arrow keys. You can also use the left and right arrow keys while holding down Control and Option. As in the PC version, you can increase the speed of movement by holding down the Shift key. To rotate the space, hold down the Option key, then use ASDW or the arrow keys. You can also use your mouse to help with movement. If you hold down the Control or Option keys, you can scroll with your mouse or trackpad at the same time to move up and down vertically within the space. By using two fingers to click on the trackpad, while holding down Control or Option, you can rotate the space. Now that we've looked at how to move around within the space, let's look at how to add mnemonics. Click on the menu on the left and a panel will pop up in front of you. This tab toward the bottom is for adding mnemonics. You can choose between 2D images and 3D models. You can also add your own textual notes here. If you choose to add a 2D image, you can either add one from your own desktop or search for one via Pixabay an online library of license-free images. Let's add a 3D model to see how this works. For George Washington, I think of a cherry tree, so I'm going to search for and add a cherry tree into the space. One little tip or trick is that once the model has been imported, it helps to back away a little bit before clicking on it with the mouse and placing it onto the instructor spot. This gives you a little bit more visibility over what you're doing. And because you're moving around within a three-dimensional space, but on a two-dimensional screen, it can be difficult to perceive distances. So what I like to do is actually put the mnemonic a bit low so that it goes into the pedestal itself, and that way I can tell when it is in the right position horizontally. I can then just raise it vertically so that it sits on top of the pedestal. Once I let go, the instructor spot disappears, but I can call the information back up just by mousing over the mnemonic. If I wanted to learn all the rest of the US presidents, I would continue in this way and add mnemonics onto each instructor spot. Let's now look at how to build and edit spaces. Within FreeBuild, I can create a new memory palace and then go inside of it. By default, I end up with this open green space surrounded by mountains. 
By opening up the settings panel, I can customize the space itself by changing the surroundings, changing the scene from day to night, and changing the texture of the ground. Premium users can also increase the build size of the memory palace. The next tab down on the menu is for building. Here you can select tools for building walls, floors, or even whole rooms. Once you have selected the tool, simply click where you want to start and release where you want to finish. The next tab down is for adding pedestals and memory structures of quincunxes. These can be really useful tools for helping to plan out the size of a space. What I'll often do is look at how many locations I need within a room, throw down the right number of pedestals, and then build the room around that. That way, I can make sure the room is sized exactly to my needs. Once you have created a space, you can customize it in a number of ways. Click the Edit button and then select the element you want to adjust. Now you can change position, rotation, scale, and texture. You can really do a lot with the look and feel of a space by altering textures and scales. You can also change the style of pedestals. If you need to move multiple objects, such as an entire room, you can use the Multi-Select tool. Choose the Multi-Select tool from the menu on the left, then select all the objects you want to move, rotate, or scale. After you have selected the objects, choose Edit and click on the group. You can also duplicate elements in this menu. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions about Monks VR, please leave a comment below. Please also check out our complete course in memory over at linguisticator.com. It will teach you how to build memory palaces for different subjects and is full of examples. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos on memory palaces and languages.